The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. Dender rocks was dangerous to shipping before they placed lightships there to mark them. Lily lightship was special. She was equipped with a loud foghorn and a bright light which could be seen for miles and miles around. I had the contract to keep her ship shape and shining, which kept both ten cents and sunshine busy with the fuel barge. Without this fuel, her light would go out. Oh well, that's it, Lily. Now you show us the way home. What would we do without you, eh? Nice to be appreciated, boys. <laughs> You'll be in the regatta parade, I suppose. I never see any of it from out here. Uh, pity that. We'll stick a light and fog on sunshine and then Crimea. <laughs> so you can. Hey, do you mean I'm in the parade too, you know? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, must try and get back in. Aye, right, bye, Lily. Uh, we'll tell you all about it. Bye, boys. Hope to see you soon. Later that night, a thick fog came down. As she was thinking about all the fun they were going to have, Lily thought she heard something. It was the throb of a tramp steamer rapidly approaching her through the dense fog. She sounded her horn again and again, but there was no reply. Then, suddenly, out of the fog, the tramper appeared. With a sickening thud, it glanced her side, cutting a huge hole in it. The tramper sped towards Demder Rocks. It was going too fast to avert certain disaster. The tramper tore into the rocks, rested for a moment, then with an unhappy sigh slid backwards and sunk rapidly. Lily was now in a perilous condition. Water had seeped into her power room and her light fizzled out. All she could do now was wait for help. Dawn arrived. Lily looked around anxiously, but there was no one to help her. Suddenly she saw lots of bubbles on the surface quite close to her. It was Grampus, the naval submarine. Mayday! Grampus! Mayday! What the? Lily, you're... you're... I'm sinking, Grampus, sinking. Please help me, please. Nasty hole, Lily. Right on your waterline. If I try to tow you in, you'll ship more water and sink. Well, go and get help, quick. Hmm. Just a minute. I've a better idea. If I can plug it with my nose, it might do the trick. Oh, no. You'll damage yourself. Don't worry about me, Lily. It's going to work. I'm stopping the bulk of the water getting in. You've already shipped quite a bit in here. I'm pumping out my ballast tanks to keep us afloat till real help comes. Oh, thank you, Grampus. Thank you. Help was indeed on its way. A small fishing boat had seen everything and was now speeding towards the port to inform the Coast Guard. Back at the Star Dock, preparations were afoot for the festival. Top Hat was amusing everyone with his antics when suddenly they were interrupted by a shrill whistle from the Coast Guard messenger. There's an emergency. Lily Lightship is sinking. The captain is correct. She is sinking. The Zeros can't help. So no, address should... yourselves to the problem and get organised, OK? That's it. You'll have to forget the festivities for a while. I say, is it an outrage? This is an emergency job. I see. OJ, collect Mighty Mo. Right, you Ten are, cents. Get a timber barge from Lucky's. Right, sir. <laughs> That's all we need, an interfering star. Sit, sunk, block him. Yeah, boss. Your bit, boss. Make wait, you two. Zoran, there's an emergency. Always is with you. 
nearly sinking. Look, I need a timber barge fast. Yeah, oh, that one there will do. What? Oh, no, it won't. It's being unloaded for us. I'm taking it anyway. Complain to Captain Star if you want to. I'll do worse than that. I'm reporting you to Captain Zero. Despite the serious nature of Lily's accident, when Ten Cents arrived, he could hardly believe his eyes. It looked very funny to him. Oh, it looks like a tin fish rammed you, Lily. Very funny. It's okay, Grampus. Ten Cents will pull you out. Just hang on a while longer. Make it soon. My head's giving out. Now listen carefully. I'm going to lift Lily a bit. Ten Cents, attach a line to Grampus. And on command, pull him out. Right, Mighty Mo. Okay, Grampus. On the count of three, ten cents will pull you free. One, two, three! Oh, I should... Oh, 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 he's really jammed oh, in! You can do it, ten cents! Oh, oh, oh he's moving now! Yay! Oh, that's it! Yeah, he's clear! Yay! 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you, Grampus, my hero. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! It's not over yet. She's badly holed, and I don't think we can do much at sea, even with the timber. Lily, we'll have to take you to Lucky's yard. Ten cents, you too, mighty Mo. I'll pull her on the bowline. Grampus, you better have a quick inspection as well, just in case. Oh, I'm all right. Just a bit scraped, that's all. Psst. This might be your lucky day, Lily. <laughs> you might get to see the regatta. Shh! Well, everyone might think I did it deliberately. Whilst the rescue of Lily Lightship was going on, Warrior was surprised to find Jack the Grappler, the garbage scooper, basking in the sun instead of working on the heaps of steaming garbage behind him. Morning, Jack. Nice day for garbage. There's no garbage today. What do you mean, no garbage today? There's heaps behind you. No garbage today. But I got to have garbage. You know, I got to have garbage. His lordship needs garbage. We all need garbage. It's a festival day or something, so there's no garbage. Is that you, warrior? Uh, yes, sir. It's me, sir. Have you got Lord Stinker with you? He's here, sir. Empty and willing to work, sir. There's no garbage today, right? Well, uh, I can see uh, heaps, uh, piles. Stacks, uh, mountains of garbage. You see no garbage, warrior. Jack will tell you there is no garbage, eh, Jack? There's no garbage. Repeat after me, warrior. There ain't no garbage. There ain't no garbage. Good. That is settled. Instead, today is Municipal Garbage Day, a festival of garbage. Hey. Municipal Garbage Day falls on the same day as the big city festival. So, to join in all the fun, we, the Garbage Corporation, are going to make our own barge float. No flowers or fancy bits, just prime, colourful garbage. I don't believe this. This is going to take a very long time, so I'd cut your engine if I was you. Must get started now. Heaps to do. Things get stranger and stranger around here. Suppose it is festival day. Bye, Lily. I've got to go and help Big Mac now. Good luck with the repairs. Thank you, Ten Cents. Enjoy the regatta. Oh, yeah, you bet. Looks like you might see the festivities, Lily. They said you're not too badly damaged. You'll probably be ready tonight. Ooh, I hope they take a bit longer. Then I'll definitely be able to stay. You're far too important to navigation. Come on, Grampus. You better move out or the Navy will be after you. Don't worry. They know where I am. I think. Ten Cents was quick to find Big Mac and told him all about Grampus and Lily as he went about his work. They were suddenly interrupted by a shrill blast from Blue Nose, the naval tug. Ahoy there! Ahoy! You there! What do you want? We can't stop, I'm afraid. There's loads urgent. I quite understand, old man. But we are looking for one of our submarines. He is called Grampus. Yeah, I ain't seen him since we left Lucky's Yard. He saved Billy really Lightship from sinking. So he's probably taking a well-deserved break somewhere. Ah, oh, that may be so. But he is one of ours, you know. He is not a civilian plaything. Okay, Blue Nose, that's enough. We haven't seen him, so make wake, okay? My work's important. Oh, your work's important. <laughs> what you need, laddie, is a lesson in naval discipline. Aha! Uh -huh. What has we here? When... Oh, what the... <laughs> <laughs> They're going to blow me up today. Huh? That is correct. What? 
But he's been a hero out there with Lily, and you lot are going to blow him up. That's some kind of thanks. Ah, oh, you civilian lot may not understand this, but us naval types know when we are past it. Instead of rotting in some breaker's yard, we volunteer us for gunnery practice. Targets, you know. But that's not fair. He's still a useful submarine. He does lots of things for us. For you, maybe. For us, he's old and out of date. Now, I can't stand around here join with you all day. Maywark's important. Big Mac will understand that, won't you, sir? Mm. Come on, grab us. Back to base. Target practice at 1,400 hours. Yes. Grambus! Grambus, don't go! Dive and hide! It's no use. Sid catch up with me again somewhere. Thanks for all the fun we had together. Bye, ten cents. Bye. Bye. Listen, we can't let this happen. I'll handle the barges. You go off and find OJ. Tell him about Grampus. He'll know what to do. We'll save our mate Grampus if it's the last thing we do. Right, Big Mac. Ten cents rushed off to find OJ. Every minute was valuable now, especially as a plan had to be devised. He used every ounce of steam to speed across the port and was soon at the star dock. OJ, they're gonna blow up Grampus! Who is? Blue Notes in the Navy. He said so, at 1400 hours today. I'll do something, OJ. Big Mac said you'd know what to do. <laughs> know what to do? <laughs> I know just what to do, but we'll need to move fast and also be a bit brave. Come on, let's go. Topat, don't loiter. We need you as well. Oh, really? How inconvenient. First Lily, now Grampus. It's just too, too much. I'll never make the show on time. O.J. explained his plan to them both. Ten cents was sent to Lucky's yard and once again had to confront the snarling Zoran. Not again. What is it this time? See this barge with logs on it? Will we need it? Oh, I know. Captain Star needs it with toothpicks, eh? No, I need it. Yeah, he needs it, all right. <laughs> Listen, I'll give it to him. You take that and his two items of theft report to Captain Zero. I told you, I don't care. You will when he gives Captain Star an here, fool. Yeah, you bet you will. He'll sink you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm taking it anyway. Oi, just leave it there. Never knew ten cents is into daylight robbery, did you? Get on with your work, or there'll be daylight robbery out of your pay packets. Oh, no, really. No, that is the plan. It'll work, but it may be dangerous. Yes, well, I don't know if we should interfere, really. But we must. He's our friend. Friends are valuable, man. Oh, all right, then. One for all and all for one. Now, let's get on with it. I don't want to miss the regatta, especially as I'm leading huh? it. Now, stop whinging, Top Hat. You'll be back in time. Ah, ten cents. Good. Big Mac? Now, th that is the log barge. Ten cents? Put a big white flag at each end of it. Hurry, time's running out. Roy. Well, Grampus, you've been a very good submarine. Ha oh, ha, we're all sad to see you go. But as you know, the Navy's got no further use for such a small vessel. Proud to have been of service, sir. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like some time to think. Ha oh, very well. And good luck, lady. If the modern Navy's gonna be like him, I'd be better off down with the fishes. Parading out here. They're going to be in the line of fire. Stay clear! That's the destroyer warning us we're in the danger zone! Ignore it! What do you mean? And get a direct hit! No, thank you very much! I'm not going to fire! Keep going, Top Hat! The more of us here, the safer we are! Get clear! They're about to start firing! Yes, Grandpa's just do as I say! Give him a line! Ten cents! All right, oh, joy! Big Mac will leave the barge in your place. Let's hope all they see from that distance is the target flags. Right, keep moving. The Navy's not going to like this. Just leave me here or you'll all get into trouble. Please, don't do it. Last. Now, where do we hide Grampus? Oh, no, here's that awful Zoran and his cronies. 
Hello, hello, hello. What's all this in? What's going on? Clear off, Zoran. It's our business. No, it's not. Deal is a deal. Ten cents said he let us in on it. No one never. You lot are up to something. And anyway, you owe us for two barges of timber. Move aside, Top Hat, and let me see. Mind your own business, Zoran. I am. This is my business. I'm looking for my timber. Well, it is near. Just back off and leave us alone. All we've got here is our float for the show. <laughs> Some float, hey? Stealing government property, eh? Nice little number, boys. Very nice. That's the third crime to report. Captain Zero will tell the Navy... Move it, Zoran, old boy. Uh, only a game, you understand, Hercules? I know all about your game, Zoran. Beat it and take your driftwood with you. Oh, I'm going to. You'll hear about it from the Navy. Don't worry. Yes, I'm off as well. Where's it far too much time already? All right, my dears. I don't think I'll wait around for answers. I want to be in the show today, too. You can tell me all later. Now, where's Warrior got to? Warrior? Warrior? Yes, sir? All right, let's do a quick check. Barge completed with colourful oil drums and streamers? Yes. Is Lordship spick and span? Yes. Jack wearing colourful hats? Yes. Good. Well, that is it. I just don't believe this. What are they going to say when they see this junk heap? <laughs> well, I like the banner. Municipal garbage wishes you all a happy day. <laughs> hey, warrior, you can go now. The regatta's about to start. Just join it and be proud of the Municipal Garbage Corporation, all right? On your way now, and good luck. Thank you, sir. It's been uh, um, a most enjoyable day. <laughs> nice job, then. Very nice job. I can enjoy my day now. Good luck, warrior. Hello, everyone. This is the Princess Alice welcoming you to the annual regatta. Thank you. Now you know the drill. When the cannon fires, the parade will start. This year, Top Hat from the Starfleet will lead off. Enjoy yourselves. There goes Top Hat, followed by shipmates OJ, Big Mac and Warrior, all towing splendid barges. They're followed by Zack from the Zero Fleet, towing the Corporation Lightship. Here come Sip and Zug, the Zero Switchers, towing a new upriver breakfast, wood and bananas. <laughs> following them comes a colourful group. Ten cents and sunshine towing Little Ditcher and Sally Seaplane. Hello, Sally. And Hercules just by himself. Never mind, Hercules. Maybe next year, okay? Coming from the famous Bridge Cafe is Zoran towing the loudest barge of the day. Nice music, guys. Very nice music. Well done, everyone. You all look splendid. The Princess Alice considers this to be the best year yet. This means, and hold it, yes, that you've all won a prize. Okay, okay, thanks to you all. Now, enough parading. Let's get this party going. When night time came, O.J. gathered all the other star tugs around him outside Lucky's yard. None of them really knew what was going on. All right, Lele, do your bit. Hello, boys. They repaired me in record time so I could see the regatta. You all look splendid. Oh, thanks what are you. you? Oh, it's Krampus and he's got the star flag. They didn't blow me up today. The Navy told me to Captain Star, so I'm one of you now. Oh, so well, so well, 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 well